All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Harry James, and if you're ready for this week and the second weekend of college football, as I am, you're jacked and you're pumped and you're ready to go, and I know I am too. So let's just go ahead and get this second week kicked off with the official, in my opinion, the official Oklahoma Sooner pregame. Hosted by yours truly, Harry James. This one is for the University of Oklahoma. That's my football team. They will play uh, the West Virginia University Mountaineers. They'll come into Owen Field on September the 7th, 2013, this Saturday coming up. Set your, set your time clocks to 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 Eastern, on Fox National. The Fox National game will have Gus Johnson, Charles Davis, and Christina Pink. On the break on the TV broadcast, or you can listen to my good buddies Toby Rowland, Merv Johnson, Dusty Dvorak, Teddy Lehman, and Chris Plank on their version of Oklahoma football. Your your choice on your local Oklahoma radio affiliates. Uh, the reminders for this game: there are a couple of reminders. Uh, a is that the University of West Virginia. Mountaineer fan base has returned Oklahoma University. Uh, their allotment of tickets to the University of Oklahoma. The University of Oklahoma will re-release those to the general public. Uh, just go to Soonersports.com on your iPad, iPhone, or computer. Or you can call this number. Call 800-456-GO-OU and get you a set of tickets. If you already have your tickets, you need to pay attention here. Take a look at your ticket and see what your section number is. Me and my cousin Eric, we have section 22. So since we're in checks in 22, we'll wear our crimson uh, polos, pullovers, uh, t-shirts, whatever crimson uh, attire that you have. That's what you'll wear in the even sections. If you're in the odd sections, you'll wear a uh, uh, cream white uh, Oklahoma uh, t-shirt, polo, dress, whatever you wear. And if you are a student at the University of Oklahoma in the student section, you'll wear the red or crimson uh, fashion statement. But as I said, it all depends, unless you're a student, on your section number on your ticket stub. So pay attention to that. Uh, things to know about this rivalry is that uh, Oklahoma has been the overwhelming favorite in this series since the 1982 matchup. But Oklahoma has only won the 2012 matchup because in 1982, there was a quarterback that came in here, later played for the Giants, won him a Super Bowl. And then, of course, in 2005, Sam Bradford's Freshman year, we all remember what happened there. The last time these two teams played, of course, was the ball game last year in Morgantown, 49-50 in Morgantown. Uh, the biggest win in the Stoops era was that 49-50 win over West Virginia last year. The biggest win for the universe, for West West Virginia, excuse me, probably the 45 to 21 victory over Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl as Oklahoma was the Big 12 champions. Uh, West Virginia has a couple of championships since the Stoops era began in 2000, uh, 2003, 2004, 2005, of course, 2007, as everybody remembers here in Oklahoma. 2010, and 2011. But all those were in the Big East. They don't have any in the Big 12. Oklahoma has a ton of them in the Big 12 since the Stoops era began. And it all began year number two in 2000. They clinched another one in 2002. 2004. They clinched one in 2006. 2007. 2008, 2010, and last year they tied with Kansas State 
in 2012 in first place. West Virginia last year uh, finished with a 7-6 record under their head coach Dana Holgerson, who is in his third year at Wallview, all three years at West Virginia. He's never had a whole coaching job before. Last year, as we said, they finished 7-6 and six in eighth place in our much-beloved Big 12 Conference, but did get invited to a bowl game where they lost in the 2012 Pinstripe Bowl to their former Big East representative rival Syracuse, 38-14 in New York's new Pinstripe Bowl. And Oklahoma, Bob Stokes, in his 14th year here at the university. Oh, at the University of Oklahoma since 1999. Last year, finished with a 10-3 record. As we said, tying them for first place with for a Big 12 conference title in 2012. But in the 2012 Cotton Bowl, they lost to Texas A&M 41-13 in the Cotton Bowl in a now called AT&T Stadium. Oklahoma has a couple of injuries to talk about. Uh, wide receiver, defensive back, Jordan Smallwood is injured with a foot injury. Defensive end line, slash linebacker. DJ Ward is still out with his stomach issue. And as you know, Kendall Thompson, for, son of former Oklahoma quarterback Charles Thompson, is out with a foot contusion of his own. West Virginia will be out two. Two defensive players already out for Dana Holgerson. Uh, Nana Kirma, the defensive back cornerback, is out for the season with a shoulder. And out with a knee injury is their linebacker, Shaq Petaway, out for West Virginia already this season. Their biggest wins for both teams last season were both over the same team. Uh, as West Virginia shocked the University of Texas and Austin 48-45 for a win against Texas. A couple of weeks later, they headed to the Cotton Bowl, where Oklahoma, well, if you were to say that they beat them by three points, you know, that might feel, make Longhorn fan, fans feel better, but we don't ever want to do that. Texas is hammered hard by Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl, 63 to 21. The uh, bowl records for both teams. Uh, Dana Holgerson in his third year, one and one with a bowl game each of the last two seasons, evening them out at 500. And the University of Oklahoma in his 14th season at Oklahoma. Bob Stoops has a seven and seven record in conference or in uh, bowl games. There are three major keys for Bob Stoops' half of the team, in my opinion. Offensively, you have to keep Trevor Knight healthy. Trevor cannot make mistakes. You have to come up with big plays in big-time games. Uh, and it's not just on Trevor. You saw a play last weekend to where Trevor finds a nice, nice ball downfield to Troy Matwire, but Matwire has got to hurdle in that football. That ended up being his first and only interception last night, last weekend. Defensively, just remember to keep everything in front of you. This is the same team that last year you still had to score 50 points to beat this team. They're still offensively productional. You look at the game last weekend. They still scored a lot of points. And as far as special teams concerned, all you have to do is just keep Oklahoma in good field position. Either A, back deep inside the 20, or B, if you're Jalen Saunders, move them inside the midfield marker. 
This has been the pregame to the University of Oklahoma and the University of Louisiana Monroe or uh, West Virginia University football game. Uh, uh, just a couple of reminders again. There are still tickets available for the West Virginia and the University of Oklahoma football game. Go on to Soonersports.com or call 1-800-456-GO-OU and order your tickets. And be able to space, be sure to pay special attention to the section number on your ticket because that clearly defines on what ticket you will, what T-shirt to wear. Uh, even even numbers are in crimson or cre crimson or red. Odd numbers are in cream or white. This has been your University of Oklahoma and the University of West Virginia Mountaineer preview show for me. Uh, one final thing, I got a trivia question for you. If you think you know the answer, go ahead and shout it out on here on YouTube, or you can follow me on Twitter and let me know the answer, or find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. I'm not hard to find. But, as we said, the 1982 version of Oklahoma, Barry Switzer was in charge of the Oklahoma offense, was in charge of Oklahoma, and was shocked. Not like this in game two, but in game number one. As the biggest uh, unfavored West Virginia Mountaineers come into Norman and win. You tell me, who was that quarterback in 1982? I'll give you a hint. He won a Super Bowl with the New York football Giants. If you think you know the answer, hit me up, Harry James Taylor, on Facebook. Or follow me on Twitter, HarryTaylor22. Or SoonerFan22, sorry. Or, or, you can go right here. So, you got Harry James Taylor. You can find me, SoonerFan, okay. Or, you can retweet it right here at the bottom of this passage here. This has been the pregame to Harry to the University of West Virginia and the University of Oklahoma pregame show. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, Boomer Sooner.